Hi, this is Donald Randall. Welcome to Donald Randall Cars and Highlights. We're here in Burbank, California at Arrow Books, where they sell books, model cars, and all kind of car paraphernalia. In fact, if you look over there, there's a nice car over there. Let's take a, a close look at the car and get some history from the guys that actually uh, drive their car. The owners are here as well. Come on, let's go have some fun. This is a nice car. We have this nice car, the Yanko. Did I say it correct? Yanko Plymouth Special, yes. <laughs> All right, now, I have three gentlemen here. They have a relationship with this fine car that they're gonna let me have for my birthday because my birthday is coming up and they're nice guys. So I really appreciate my pre-birthday gift, which is, you know, several months away. Now, gentlemen, let's start with you. Now, what's your name? My name is Paul Rossi. And Paul, what is your relationship with this car? My father, Vince Rossi, was a partner in the Yakel Special with uh, Frank Bainey's uh, father, Lou Bainey, with the uh, uh, race car. And that's my brother, Jim Rossi. And this is a family affair. This is their dad, Vince, my brother's friend. That's my brother, Chris. This is our current partner now, Chuck Goebel. This is the parachute packer for the driver, Tom McEwen. This is my father. This is Paul that we were talking with. This is Jim Ward. This is myself. I was nine. And this is the driver, Tom the Mongoose McEwen. November of 64. This uh, has been a very special uh, uh, finding for us since we uh, grew up as you took a uh, picture of the uh, drag news with us in the uh, around the trailer. And that was when we were very young kids, and uh, we're very fortunate to find this car. Okay. Now, I have a question for you. How long is this car? The car's 152 inches from the center of the front wheel to the center of the back wheel. And uh, it was really long for its day. It was an experimental car, and there was two of these chassis made, and the first one crashed, and this is the second one. And when we found it 40 years later, there's little nuances on this chassis that was able to tell us this is the car because we knew the other one was already gone. For one thing, this car, the, the metal on this car is very thin for the chassis. And then it, when the car was originally made, these little saddles right here, they weren't welded on. So as the car went down the track, the top frame rail would lift and it would transfer the weight more towards the back tires which was in theory going to give it better traction. It was weight transfer. Uh, found it out it actually worked better once they welded those up and as you can see they're all welded up now but for the first couple races they weren't welded and we'd get down to the end of the track and these would be sitting on the outside. So as a quick fix they hose clamped them on and then after a couple weeks of figuring that's what they got to do they just welded them up. But the car is, is considered a flexi flyer, a uh, Woody Gilmore flexi car, and after this car there were several more made. Uh, the motor is a 1957 uh, Chrysler, it's a 392, it's bored out, uh, it has about a thousand horsepower, maybe a little more, it's supercharged right there, runs on nitromethane, and uh, like I said, it gets about a, a gallon a minute at an idle, and under full throttle, it's about a gallon a second. So it's a, it was very special, uh, you know, trial car, and it worked very well. Now, who actually put the car together piece by piece? Uh, originally, Woody Gilmore built the chassis, and uh, our fathers, both uh, Vince and Lou, uh, worked at Yakel Plymouth Center, and uh, they sold muscle cars which was all the Mopar cars and that's where the motor came from a guy Jim Ward was the mechanic and uh, between all of them together the, those four guys were instrumental in building the car and making it run every weekend okay and you my friend I forgot about you who are you I'm Jim Rossi I'm Paul's brother and you two guys was in the picture how old were you guys when you were in the picture I'm actually not in the picture I was too young but Paul and Frank were probably gosh eight, nine years old, 10 years old at the I most. I was eight or nine, I think yeah. Paul was 13. I was probably four or five, so I wasn't even there. <laughs> oh, okay. I was going, bring me dad, bring me dad, because you're too young. <laughs> okay. So what did this car mean to you? Uh, this is like finding something that uh, your dad and mom lost years ago, an antique, an heirloom, and finding this car again has just been 
a godsend to us. This car brings back a lot of memories and has brought our families, the Baneys and the Rossies back together and a lot of the other drag racing families we've lost track with over 40 and 50 years have all come back around since we've had this car. This was a very strong car in its day. It was driven by Tom the Mongoose McEwen, who's a very famous driver, and uh, it's just brought a lot of good, loving memories back to all of us.